Hi everyone, welcome back to the Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you do, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is God said He can't hear you how He used to. God can't hear you how He used to. You used to pray to God daily, daily, daily. All of a sudden, you don't even pray no more. You don't even worship the Lord no more. You stop doing everything because you wanted to follow the crowd. In order for God to hear you, you got to start praying and you got to remove yourself from that sin. Some of y'all are in sin. Some of y'all in things that you shouldn't even been in. And Psalm 66 and 18 says, if I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. I want you to know that God wouldn't have listened to you if you continue to sin. That's why it's important to remove sin out of your heart. If you're going to do things in the will of God, you got to remove sin. You got to remove sin. Sin can't go with God. And I'm telling you, God do not like sin at all. When I was in sin, God was speaking to me, but he told me, you got to get out this sin. I'm trying to help you. God do help the sinners. I don't care what nobody tell you. God helps sinners. He do. He will warn us. He will tell us everything. God had warned me. He told me to get right. He told me to leave that person alone. He told me to move. And he told me to move fast. God will help every sinner. If you if you a prostitute, if you a drug dealer, whatever your sin was, God can free you. You do not have to stay in sin. I'm a living witness. I'm a living testimony. I'm telling you, I was a sinner, and God can change you. God had changed me. I had gave my life to God, and I'm and you know I get on here every day to encourage y'all. God can change you. Don't look at your downfall. Yes, you had slipped, you had fallen, but you don't got to remain into it. All you got to do is get up and repent and give your life to God. God would not have listened to you if you would have continued to sin. You don't know, but I'm going to tell y'all this. When you continue to sin, you have way dead. A lot of people don't tell you that. That's why a lot of pastors don't want to talk on sin. But I'm going to tell you. When you in sin, you halfway dead. And a lot of people don't want to talk like this, but I'm going to tell you, when you doing things out the will of God, you on your way, on your deathbed. Because a lot of people don't understand, when you sin and over and over again, the way, listen, when that person is having sex with you, you become having soul ties. You be having emotions and all this stuff. That's why the Bible says, seek me first. You got to seek God. So everything can be added in your life. God going to add that woman. He going to add that man. He going to add those kids. He going to add that wedding. He going to do whatever he need to do. But you got to seek the Lord and you shall find him. When you find God, he going to do everything he need to do in you. But you got to learn how to get up and repent and turn away from your ways. A lot of us, we don't want to get up and repent. You got to learn how to get up and repent and say, Lord, you have your way in my life. I'm sorry what I did. I'm sorry how I did it. And I repent and I want you to help me to get my life back in order. That's what I did. When I was in sin, when I was doing things my way, I said, God, you have mercy on me. You help me. You fix my life. And he did it. God can change anybody when you want to be right, when you want to do his will. He can change you. You got to open up your mind, give God your full attention, and he will help you. All I'm saying is give God your all. Give God your full attention. When you give God your full attention, he will do everything for you. Thank you for watching. Be encouraged. God bless you all. Continue to pray and fast. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed one.